We finally made it to the final section of this course. You've worked through the hard part, which was building the report. All that's left is learning a few things about publishing reports and the Power BI service in general. We'll start off this section by exploring the components of the Power BI service and how it relates to the report we just finished. Here's a great infographic created by Microsoft itself that breaks down the components of the Power BI service. Starting from the left, we have the environment we've been spending all of our time in until now. This is where we've connected to our data, created our models, and built our reports. Once a report has been built, we then have the ability to publish it to the Power BI service. The service, typically, is cloud-based, meaning all the data, reports, and access are stored in the Azure cloud. Data can also be accessed and refreshed from any location. As a reminder, if the data is kept anywhere on-premises, such as a local server, then it can be accessed and refreshed automatically through scheduled refreshes using a data gateway. The users themselves can access this data from any device at any location, given they have access to the internet, avoiding the hassle of version control with files or downloads. Performance issues are also avoided since all calculations that occur when the users interact with the report are handled by the hosted Azure servers in the Power BI service. Before we get started, let's take a quick peek at what a report would look like when published to the service. Here's the well-designed report we've created in previous sections. Now, once published to the Power BI service, the look, feel, and functionality would be almost identical. Outside of the additional interface, there is very little difference to how the users will experience the report compared to when you designed it in Power BI Desktop. All right, with that in mind, let's publish our report. So the act of publishing the report itself is quite simple. So we have in front of us our completely finished Power BI report, and I want to publish this online so I can have my clients or users access this and utilize it in any location on any device. So I'm going to come up to the top here where there's a publish button. I'm going to select publish. I'm going to sign into any account that I have. Now this account has to be a work, school, or organizational email. In this case, I'm going to use my business email. Now in some of the later videos in this section, we're going to talk about these destinations that we see in front of us here. But for now, if you have this in whatever login that you are using, go ahead and just publish it to my workspace. Because again, the goal of this video is, is just to see this report published to PowerBI.com and to see what the report looks like on the PowerBI.com environment. All right, it's reported that I've successfully published to PowerBI.com. So I'm going to click this link here and it's going to navigate us to PowerBI.com in a web browser where we can access this report. So we have in front of us now the Power BI report published to the PowerBI.com service. You'll see that it's very similar in terms of the interface that we have from Power BI Desktop into the Power BI service. I can still use the slicers over here to interact with the data just as I would in Power BI Desktop. I can also click on any of the chart visuals for all the slicers to still work in a very similar fashion. And in general, this is what you would call a WYSIWYG, a what you see is what you get situation. The exact way that you designed it in the desktop app will be almost identical to how the user will see it on the .com interface. Now, currently we have this published to something over here, if you look on our left, called My Workspace. Now, what this is, is think of this as your personal development environment. When you are in PowerBI.com, there are going to be some places you will want to put reports and dashboards that we will talk about in our next video up here called workspaces and we'll see how to create those those are kind of containers and other things that i'll go into in further depth in the following video